Okay, here's our recipe for the blueberry pie filling uh, that I have. And um, because we're in the middle of a pandemic right now, uh, as I'm filming this, I'm making a couple of substitutions to the recipe that you see, but they're very, very minor, and they're not really going to affect much of the outcome. Um, and those two things are, I put, as you can see, um, might be a bit hard to see here, a few, um, this is 90%, well, maybe more like 80% blueberries. And then I just had a little random bag of um, kind of a mixed berry, frozen berry mix that I wanted to use up. And um, I don't have it, a Granny Smith apple. Um, this is a Gala apple. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that instead. Um, like I said, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Really don't wanna run to the grocery store if I don't have to. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use kind of what I have on hand. And also we do this sometimes in the kitchen, right? We work with what we have. Luckily I have a lemon, lemon and I've got some tapioca flour here. Uh, tapioca flour, or if you have um, quick cooking, um, uh, minute tapioca, um, currently not available in the stores right now, the last few times I've gone shopping, so I'm just gonna use tapioca flour. Uh, this is a thickener, right, made from tapioca. Uh, so it has something that will help uh, absorb the liquid that comes off of our recipe here. When it comes to fruit pie fillings, uh, we're really trying to keep it moist, right? But at the same time, um, we don't want it so moist that it's going to make our crust soggy and have a soggy bottom. So we really want to absorb as much of that liquid as possible uh, using a couple of things. One, the tapioca flour, and two, uh, the, the apple that we'll be using. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 